But let's go ahead and get into this thing. Now, Complex Magazine not too long ago dropped a uh, uh, top 15 celebrity liquors. And I thought that was uh, dope. So I want to talk about it. I don't know what's on this top 15 list. So I just want to see what's going on. See, it's just just look at the celebrity liquors. What they what they talk about is the best thing. So, and then we'll get into the Kanye because that's what I want to get into last. That Kanye stuff because I I did a I did um what I did um I did like a survey or something on my Kanye on my Instagram and you would believe what they voted was the best Kanye. So we're gonna go through that next after this. All right. So let's check this out real quick. To this, what are we talking about? The uh, Complex Magazine. All right, all right. So, Complex Magazine dropped 15 most. Hey, let me let me get in frame. Let me get in frame. So, Complex Magazine dropped the 15 most alcohol brands from celebrities, including Jay Z, Drake, Travis Scott, and more. 15 most famous. I'm talking about 15 most. All right. So let's talk about this crowd. I don't even know what's the uh, top 15. 15 most famous. What? All right, let's see it. Cacti. What's cat? Let, let me exit out. There's all these pop ups. If y'all can see it, Cacti is Travis Scott brand. Travis Scott got Cacti. What is that? Uh, 7%. Is that a seltzer or something? I never even heard of that. I never even heard of this one right here. Anybody heard of Cacti? I thought it was going to be straight liquor. They talking about alcohol brand. I thought it was going to be straight liquor. They got Jay-Z on there, uh, P. Diddy on the picture. All right, Cacti is um, a brand from 2021. I never heard of that. I got I got to review that. I'm going to look that one up. 2021. Nah, I ain't heard of that one, bro. Let me move this out of my way a little bit over here. All right. Anybody heard of Travis Scott, Cacti? Let's see what's the next one. Ciroc. Okay, now we're getting into some stuff I can collect. Now, Ciroc, P. Diddy. So, is Travis Scott number one, or is it just, is it top 15? How they going by this? Now, Ciroc is up there, man. This junk dropped in two, P. Diddy been involved since 2013. So, Ciroc, yeah. I like Ciroc. I don't know about y'all, but I like Ciroc. Jay-Z Ace of Spade was under $100 until he took over it. Then it shot up. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I think Alpha Hoss, I think Jay-Z Ace of Spades, he did that on purpose. I think he wanted to take a shot at Chris Style. So he said he can he can elevate any brand. He don't have to just promote your brand. So I guess they ain't showing no love or something like that. So he just he just elevated another brand. But I got to say, man, that bottle, if you ever held the Ace of Spade bottle, the bottle is heavy, nice. It feels like um, like you're holding something pretty significant in your hand. But I wouldn't say it tastes good. It tastes like regular brute champagne to me, bro. Like, yeah, a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand in the club, though. All right, so we got the first two. We got Cacti and Ciroc. Bel Air Rosé. Shout out to Rick Ross. This Rick Ross bread. I think I think Rick Ross come on the sovereign sovereign brands. Uh, that's the uh, Bamboo, the Rose, the Vlon, all that stuff is up under Rick Ross. So this sparkling wine, 2011. Dang, Rick Ross been promoting this since 2011. Don't even seem that old, bro. Oh, 2011. Seem like man. Bel Air is in like grocery stores and stuff. It's like it's like one of the wines that's um not one of the wines, but well it's a sparkling wine. So yeah, one of the wines that's heavily promoted in grocery stores and stuff now too. It's about 30 bucks, 20, 25, 30 bucks. I don't like the price. But I do like the blue one. I do like the blue one. Did he own did he he don't own Ciroc? Just endorse it. I oh okay, okay, yeah. I think he got. A, I think he get like a piece of sales. That's that's my goal, like to be like, uh, get on a brand and just get a piece of sales. I want I want to keep bringing y'all uh, information and stuff and talk about cognac. I want to jump on jump on a band's tail wagon. Like I want a whole like line of products and whatever I sell, whatever I kill, I eat. You know what I'm saying? Do say. Oh, I knew Do say would be on here. I like Do say. 
I like to say this is this is a great brand. And I, I think he sold half of it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, Alpha Hoss. Do say anybody I know y'all cognac drinkers, so I like to say a lot. Uh, I was wondering if they had a VS. Like, if Ducey had a VS, would it compete with the other VS like brands? But they they got a nice VSOP. It's it's pretty good. Ducey came out in 2012. Dog, it seemed like they've been out just a short time. We ain't. Oh, it make me feel older than a bit. I remember when I just wanted to buy a bottle of Ducey. So, oh, they go Ace of Spade right there. Ace of Spade, Jay Z on Jay Z on both of their ass. So Jay Z got two out of the fifteen that's on here. Complex Magazine love hooked them some Jay Z. So let's see what else on here. Now, like you said, uh, like you said, bro, it comes in the luxury. It's twelve point five percent. It comes in this box. The box is like feels like real wood, but it's like, I guess when you open up the box, bro, it feel like real wood, and it's like some some like. Like, what it is, like plastic, I don't know what it's called, acrylic coat on the box, nice packaging, like the whole packaging makes you feel like it's luxury. To buy it in the club, I think you feel like a fool because you just got a heavy bottle of champagne, but to buy it itself and just enjoy it for like 200 bucks, I think you might feel like you got your money worth, I'm not sure. Oh, he just got a couple of M's off that. Jay-Z, hey, once you got money, boy, it seems like you just keep getting money, bro. Oh, it says this was this was founded in 1763. So Jay-Z brought into a brand that's over. Think about this, bro. Jay-Z brought into a brand. So since 1763, so that was over 250 years ago, Jay-Z brought into a brand. That was over 250 years old. That's some dope shit right there. Now, I like that a lot. Like when you buy, that's that's some uh Bernard Arnault type stuff. Like buying into Louis Vuitton and stuff like that. The the owner of all LVMH. That's some boss shit. I like that. So I guess that's so I guess that's when these brands was established, not when the celebrity started endorsing them. Because I I was like, man, I'm feeling old. I don't remember Rick Ross representing like Bel Air back in 2012. I'm he was like a more 2017, 18 type person. Cause Rick Ross had some some garbage behind Kanye or something like that before I think. Jay Z owns some pressure company called Monogram. Oh yeah, I ain't know that one, bro. I ain't know that one. Scissor, what is this? Who been? Dipset? Yeah, I ain't never heard of this one before. How is this the most famous? And that's Cameron and uh, who is that? Joel Joel Santana. Dang, I gotta get, I gotta review this. This, this is probably like some, uh, <laughs> this is probably like some old school like Cisco or uh, MD twenty twenty in there. They look like Alize, a fake Alize. This ain't a top fifteen. This payola. This list gotta be payola. Somebody paid for this list, bro. Scissor. I didn't even know they made this. And then why some New York people making scissor? This seems like some Memphis type stuff or some Texas stuff, bro. Oh, it's old. I ain't never seen it before, bro. I ain't never seen it before. Dang, I got to get my review skills up, bro. Why well, I don't know about this. Oh, it is 2004. They jumped on it before like, oh, how they going to do them like that, man? Like, sipping on some scissor came like in 2001, 2002 and stuff. Man, them Texas boys was being on that. How, how, why New York? How New York going to do the uh down south like that? Make the scissor Virginia Black? Drake, 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 yeah. I like this a lot, Virginia Black 2016. I don't know if Drake was a part of it then. I think he jumped on, I think he jumped on that later. I think Drake, Drake jumped on that one a little later. But yeah, uh, Virginia Black, I have, I have that bottle. It's up there. It's pretty decent. I don't want to pull every bottle down. I just want to go through the list and just talk about it. Um... I guess it's complex magazine, so it's gonna be all music people. So they said celebrities. I thought it was gonna be like a whole bunch of celebrities. So American whiskey. I thought it was Canadian. Oh, I guess it's American. Hey, that's what I said too. It looked just like a cologne. It looked just like cologne, bro. 
Lobos, see, this is confusing. Is it is it celebrities or is it uh music? Lobos tequila. This this LeBron James. This is not good. I don't like I don't like the uh reposados. That's the only one I had, but I doubt I would like any of the other ones. Lobos tequila. It says two thousand, two thousand twenty. LeBron came out with came out Lobos. I never the one thing the one thing about celebrity stuff, bro, that I don't trust. Is I never see like LeBron or anybody drinking their own stuff. Like, if you don't drink your shit, bro, I ain't with it. Like Kevin Hart, he promoting this uh Grand Carmino, but he drank his stuff. Like he he takes shots of it. He every time he sit down, he interview with people, he have some of his stuff. Um Charles Charles Woodson, the Woodson Bourbon, they drink their stuff. Um uh, even even um Rick Ross. Rick Ross drank his stuff. Like I and Shannon Sharp, he drank his. So like I, I get with you a little bit more if you drank your, if you actually drank your stuff when you promoted it. Some people just put it out there. Diddy drank his too sometimes, but like I never see like LeBron drinking his. I don't see Michael Jordan drinking, enjoying his stuff. I, don't, I don't even see George Clooney drinking Casamigos or nothing like that. So I don't know what they got in the Complex Magazine. It looks like it's all music in LeBron James. So. Mix, mix, mix. What's mix? What's mix? Oh, Nicki Minaj. Oh, yeah, I had this before. This is like the worst fucking Moscato I ever had. Uh, <laughs> oh, 50 be promoting his champagne. Oh, 50, 50 don't mess. 50 don't mess with drink his stuff either. Yeah. Hey, but Nicki Minaj, she came out with this. I I guess somebody just paid her to get put her name on this. This is um. Her rendition on Moscato, she actually ruined Moscato. Like this, the whole line, all this flavored stuff, Moscato is it's disgusting. Uh, but I might I might do another video on it. I think I did a shitty video on it. I'ma um, come back and do a better one. 2015 mix. It's a good idea, but Moscato is just delicious by itself. Effing, effing, effing. I go 50 cent right there. I got all right. Effing. This must be an old old list. Because I don't think he's a part of effing no more. But I don't like any of the effing vodkas. Um, they come up with stupid flavors for vodka. At least the rock, like, they hit or miss. But when they miss, like, somebody still like that stuff. They be effing be coming out with, like, blood, grapefruit, stupid shit. Like, orange. Nobody don't like orange vodka. We, get, we do orange uh, liqueur, like, triple sec and, and Grand Marier. Like they just do stuff that I don't like. I don't know. Effing though, it's still around. I be sitting at Walmart for half off. I start to buy one, but he got Branson. Branson. Uh, he got Branson cognac now though. The Five Moscato is uh Bar and Tour brand. I gotta look that one up, bro. You might have the uh, Crunk Juice. What the fuck, is Crunk Juice? Oh. <laughs> Look, John, this is this, no, this gotta be payola. This is zero percent alcohol. Why is why is this on here as the celebrity alcohol? Like, this is just stupid. I know he came up with crunk juice, but I, I, I think I seen it one time back in like 2006 or seven or something like that. When this came out? 2004, yeah. 2004, crunk juice. This shouldn't be on here, but it's an energy drink. Come on, Complex. Y'all are tripping, man. I'm trying to make content around Lekka. And y'all ass want to put crunk juice in here. Cream. What the fuck is cream? For real, cream. Dang, that bottle look exclusive as heck. But cream, I never heard of cream before. Cream with a Q. 2011. A milky vodka and strawberry peach. I don't know, man. That sounds like some, some bush. <laughs> that sounds like some bush. Hey, anybody heard of cream in this bitch? Somebody tell me if they heard of cream. That bitch sound like some bull. Let me pull that bottle back up, dog. Y'all seen this before? The bottle looks so exclusive. I bet it's like $50 for this bull. Old Forrester 1910. I got an 1887. I got an 1870 up here now, though. So, are you sitting... 
You sipping cream and uh old forester right now? Or cream in that uh Moscato? I mean uh old forester in that Moscato. Boy, that cream look crazy, dog. It it looked like an exclusive bottle. I'm gonna look for that. So I got two things to look for. I gotta look for that cream. What else I said? I'm gonna go back and watch this myself. Shit. All right, I'm going back. I'm just going through these. I I ain't went through this. Oh, that go to bamboo right there. But it say Lil Wayne on that. I thought Rick Ross did the bamboo. I guess they share promote that. I don't know. Lil Wayne with the bamboo. 2015. All right, Wayne. I get. I seen Wayne promoting it, but I thought he did the XO. It is what it is. It is what it is. The Wayne. Oh, Mercer and Prince. Now this right here, ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky, I do like this. I do like this one a lot. Hold on. I like this in a different way, not a lot. I have two bottles of this. I enjoy it. I, it tastes like a uh, Japanese. It tastes like a Japanese whiskey to me. It got like a real like oaky, burnt, toasty flavor to it. I like that a lot. Well, I like that. I like that in a different way. It's just like a different flavor. So that's straight. 2022? Yeah. I think this payola, because how they get up there? Oh, whip shots. Oh. I'm going to tell y'all about whip shots. I did a review on the whip shots now. Whip shots is uh, trash, bro. You spend too much money on them little bitty shots, bro. It's just a fun party thing. And what I would do is, you know how you do like a rum cake or something right there? What I would do is I'll put it like, I'll make it a delicious, like, alcoholic, alcoholic, like dessert. I'll put like whipped cream on like a rum cake or something like that. That's what I'll use it for. I wouldn't use it to like get lit and stuff like that, but oh yeah. Buffalo Trace and cream soda. You ain't, I ain't mad at you. I gotta get me some more Buffalo Trace though. I might pop that Wellers open tonight. Thanks for the like. Whoever just liked that bit. What's next? What's next? Alright, alright. So we ran through the whole the whole squad of uh Celebrity top 15. Out of these right here, out of these 15, let me tell you what I will um I'll rank I will rank the Ciroc so Ciroc up there with uh Deuce, I will rank Duce number one. Uh probably probably Ciroc, because they got a whole line of products. Ciroc number two, and then like they like the Mercer and Prince and then the Drake. I gotta taste that cream though. And crunk juice will be like last because it ain't got no alcohol in it. And bro, tripping. So, 